Now, I see a lot of YouTubers and marketers overcomplicate keyword research. Now, although it is very important, you need to understand something. Keywords are not the holy grail solution for you to rank in Google. It used to be, not anymore. Now, Google is looking for structure, quick answers to people's questions or problems. Although keywords are important, it's not the only thing you need to focus on. So what you want to look for are keywords that people are typing, right? So the best way to do this, first of all, is go in ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to give you 50 semantic relevant long tail keywords on whatever niche you're working on. So I'm going to take the health supplement niche just as an example. I don't necessarily recommend that if you're a beginner to go in that niche because it's highly competitive. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use the health supplement niche as an example. So now that I've entered this in ChatGPT, I wait for the answer. Then I take the first one. I go in the Google Keyword Planner tool and I click on Discover New Keywords. I enter my keyword here and I ask get results. Then I click on the little tab here to download as a CSV. I open my CSV. Now there's a lot of things that you don't need here because this data is mostly for people who are buying ads because the Google Keyword Planner tool is for people who are buying ads. So. The only thing you want to keep is the amount, monthly searches, and the keywords. Okay, so you can get rid of currency because that's your home currency. It has nothing to do with the currency within the, you know, the Google Planner tool itself. Then you delete everything else because, as I said, that information I just deleted is for people who buy ads. Okay, so what I want to keep are the keywords and the monthly searches. Now, if you're using Excel, what you could do is select the column where there's the monthly searches. I'm going to click on filter. From largest to smallest. OK, now me personally, when I work keywords, I can go to 100. OK, so if there's 100 monthly searches, because they're long tail keywords, I could get that traffic, even 50. I mean, why not? So, but below 50, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Even 50, I find depending the niche, again, there's some niches that 50 clicks could bring you sales. You know what I mean? But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to keep it to 500 in this example. So I got 46 keyword that I could select from. Obviously I'm not going to work all of them. I'm going to select the ones that, you know, would fit my blog. Once you st structured your list, you want to save it obviously. And that's how you do keyword research. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.